Hey guys. Yeah, I think you're hold when you talk about my arm being in the sling. It's because the screen versus. Because I'm looking this way, but I'm looking this way. Uh, you know, it's weird how it does that. I guess it's just the angle of the camera. But I'll prop this up so you can uh, look at um, Can't really do it real well. Uh, nah, it's hard to do that. I was trying to see if I could get you an angle to look at the nature but I don't think you can do it real well uh, I was picking up hold it let y'all see there we go um yeah I'm just sitting here I brought a few books to read if you can see right there and um, it's not not real easy to read uh, it's having a lot of having a lot of problems trying to you know relax the symptoms and they're better. I mean, the symptoms are, you know, I'm in kind of a wave, but it's not as bad as it was. It was a lot worse before. And um, at least at times now, I'm not really in pain. The symptoms are just annoying. Uh, and that's that's definitely an improvement. I mean, it's not well, and I would like to be better than this, but it's better. And uh, um, symptoms are not gone. And at times, they are still painful at times, but not near what they were. And, uh, I'm really thankful for that, and uh, like I said, it's now at times they're more of just kind of an annoyance, uh, so that's a lot better than what it was. And um, I don't have the suicidal type, you know, feelings anymore. I have to be quiet. There's still people with kids, so I'll have to watch the language or anything. You know, not use any. You can see there's families here. I don't want to use any language. Um, it's a pretty day, uh, beautiful day today. I wish I could go riding on a boat like that over there. You can see it. It's hard for me to see, I'm getting a glare from the sun, but you see the boats and I wish I could do that. I ain't got no money to have a boat. <laughs> I'd have to have a friend that had one and I don't have any friends that have boats or anything. But, um. Yeah, just trying to get my mind off last night. That was just so ridiculous. Um, this makes me so angry, you know. What happened? It's just ridiculous. I mean, like, he couldn't tell that I was in a scene. I mean, that maybe I'm not exactly driving at 100%. I mean, I'm not bad enough that I can't go. I can obviously drive and do okay, but obviously, you know, he's just a stupid cop. Who, I'll give you an example of why I think, just a second, okay, why I think things like that happen. We're a smaller city. Smaller towns in the United States are declining, especially in the Northeast and the Midwest. I'm in the Southeast. Obviously, by my accent, you probably can tell that. Um, but in the Midwest and Northeast especially, small towns are declining right and left. And it's declining here too. It's just at a slow, it's a slower rate than what they are. We're not quite where they are. <clears throat> but but um, they're declining and you ain't got enough taxpayers. So that's why they've raised the price on tickets, on all kinds of stuff. Because they don't have the money anymore to keep things going. Not my fault. I didn't do it. You know, It's like I tell people, hey, I didn't do this. But of course I get to pay for it, you know, and they, I was the perfect patsy. And of course, he stopped me because he thought I was drunk. Because it was the night time and it's the weekend. And I told him I was, which I, he, he thought that before I ever told him. But I told him I was coming from the downtown area, which I don't drink. I can't. I could have told him that and said, you idiot, I can't drink. God, if I drank, my withdrawal would be, I'd be right back where I was months ago. Yeah, you know, he don't, he don't understand that and probably wouldn't care if I told him that. Um, so I just didn't, no point. But, so now I'm September the 11th, I gotta go deal with that shit. It's such a joke. Hell, it's what it deserves. Maybe if we'd been better people, it would, this wouldn't have happened. But it has, so. Nothing we can do about it. Hey, I think, hey, let the cop, let the police force go under in some ways. I mean, they don't really protect us and do much for us anyway ride around in their stupid vehicles and act like a bunch of morons. Yeah, they do a little bit. Other than crime, other than big time crimes though, they don't do anything. But I think that's part of the segment on <clears throat> charging so much for tickets and everything. Like he said, because they're having so much trouble getting revenue. And it's 
like he said, don't punish the people for that. You know, it's not it's not their fault. I mean, you know, quit quit hammering the citizen right and left. You know, just because just because you don't have the money to pay for your stupid crap. You know, don't punish us for it. But they do. I'm in kind of a wave out here. I don't know. I'm sure things still affect me out here. It's, it's better than it was, but it still affects me a little bit. I think it's the trees and things. I mean, y'all probably remember back months and months and months ago, I couldn't even stand out here at all. And uh, so, I mean, I'm. it's not gone, but I'm much better than I was. But I can't just sit out here still. It's, it's still really rough. But it's better. I just have to be patient with everything. I gotta be patient with a stupid arm. I gotta be patient with a stupid withdrawal. I gotta be patient. You know how it is with everything, so. I just have to be patient, patient, patient. Nothing's gonna be better until this year's over with, really. But if I could just get my arm out of this stupid sling, I mean, at least I, <clears throat> my life would improve by at least, I think, about 20 to 30 percent. Things could be a little better, and I could, you know, get this arm. And it's gonna take a while to get the arm healed anyway. I just wish I had it out of the sling. I could take some soreness and some stiffness. Like, I can deal with that for a while, but <sighs> this stupid sling is just driving me nuts. But that's about all I got to say, guys. I really don't have anything to talk about. I just wanted to show you what I do a lot during the day. It's more crowded out here today than it usually is because it's the weekend, so you got people out in their boats. But, um, yeah, do what I got to do, you know. <laughs> waves coming in. <laughs> don't I know about waves, huh? Yeah. huh? Don't I know about that? I've had waves for months. But, yeah. What do you do? Red the winter time. I always hate it. Nothing I can do about it. It comes, it comes. I don't have anything to do. But I've really been thinking about leaving this country. And I've really thought of it lately. It's just garbage now. And... If I ever could leave, I'm going to do it, guys. Um, how you doing? I'm back. <laughs> um, if anybody's on, I'm going to leave this country one day. I, I want to. I really... That's eh, something idiot with this stupid... That's another stupid thing I can't stand. Morons and their dumb vehicles trying to prove their manhood or whatever they're trying to prove. But this may be beautiful, but I would love to leave this country. And just get out of it. I just don't love. I don't love it anymore. It doesn't love me. I don't think it ever loved me. The best thing for me would be to leave it. But that's a long way off. Unfortunately, I got to get through the rest of this year <coughs> and suffer more and more and more. So, if this withdrawal appeared, I'd be. I could deal with the arm. I could, I could deal with it, but not until the withdrawal disappears. So, and that's going to be even longer than the arm, probably. But I've just got so much on me right now. I'm just tired of living, sick of it. I'm just so damn sick. Take a breather and relax, and uh, rest, and go and the bridge, and have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.